Coming up on 5-Minute News. Londoners protest after police officer charged with woman's murder. Demonstrators call for justice a year after Breonna Taylor's death. And at least 12 killed in protests in Myanmar. It's Sunday, March 14. I'm Anthony Davis. London's Metropolitan Police Department is under scrutiny for the way officers handled some participants at an unofficial vigil on Saturday night for a London woman whose death led to murder charges against a fellow officer and spurred a national conversation about violence against women in the UK. Hundreds of people disregarded a judge's ruling and police requests by gathering at Clapham Common in honour of Sarah Everard, who was last seen alive near the South London Park on March 3rd. Demonstrators said they wanted to draw attention to the fear and danger many women see as a daily part of British life. 33-year-old Everard disappeared while walking home from a friend's apartment at about 10.30pm and was found dead a week later. The slaying sent shockwaves across the UK because a Metropolitan Police officer is charged with her kidnapping and murder. Video of Saturday's informal vigil turned rally showed officers from the same police force tussling with participants as they pushed their way through the crowd. At one point, several male officers grabbed hold of several women and pulled them away in handcuffs to screaming and shouting from onlookers. The gathering happened hours after London Constable Wayne Cousins appeared in court for the first time since his arrest in Everard's death. In the wake of Everard's disappearance and killing, many women have taken to social media to share their own experiences of being threatened or attacked whilst walking outside. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Cressida Dick, has been called upon to resign in the wake of the police response to the protest. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered for a rally and march in Louisville, Kentucky on Saturday to mark the one-year anniversary of the killing of Breonna Taylor, whose death helped fuel US protests against police brutality in America. Taylor, a black 26-year-old emergency medical technician and aspiring nurse, was shot six times and killed by police in her Louisville home during a botched raid on March 13, 2020. A grand jury in September recommended no homicide charges against the three white officers in the case. The incident, along with the police killing in May of George Floyd in Minnesota, sparked demonstrations against racism and excessive use of force by law enforcement across the nation last summer. During Saturday's rally in Louisville, speakers called for justice for Taylor and reforms to the criminal justice system. Demonstrators marched downtown chanting Black Lives Matter and No Justice, No Peace while waving signs showing Taylor's face. Mayor Greg Fisher said his city had made significant reforms in policies and priorities, but there was still a good deal of work ahead. Protests were held in other cities across the US on Saturday to mark Taylor's death, including Atlanta and New York. President Joe Biden said on Twitter that he remains committed to signing a police reform bill into law. Myanmar security forces killed at least 12 people, witnesses and media reported, as the acting leader of a civilian parallel government vowed in a first public address on Saturday to pursue a revolution to overturn the February 1st military coup. Five people were shot dead and several injured when police opened fire on a sit-in protest in Mandalay, Myanmar's second biggest city. Another person was killed in the central town of PA and two died in police firing in the commercial capital Yangon, where three were also killed overnight, domestic media reported. They're acting like they're in a war zone with unarmed people, said Mandalay-based activist Miat Thu. He said the dead included a 13-year-old child.
In Paye, a witness said security forces initially stopped an ambulance from reaching those who were injured, leading to one death. A truck driver in Chauk, a town in the central Magwe region, also died after being shot in the chest by police, a family friend said. More than 70 people have been killed in Myanmar in widespread protests against the military's seizure of power, the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners Advocacy Group has said. The deaths came as the leaders of the United States, India, Australia and Japan vowed to work together to restore democracy in the Southeast Asian nation and the acting leader of the country's ousted civilian government addressed the public for the first time. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news. Daily.